Welcome back to another episode of How Would You Sketch This? In today's quick episode, how would you sketch this object here? Once again, take some time to pause the video and make an attempt on your own. Once you've completed this task, unpause the video and see how you did. Now that you've made your own attempt, let's see how you did. Select the top view. I'm gonna create a sketch on the top plane. Now I can see based on this diagram that there's a series of circles here. I'm gonna go ahead and create the circles, add some anchor lines and continue to shape. And subsequently, I'll be adding dimensions to lock these things into place. Start out with a series of circles. Once I get done with these circles, I'm gonna start adding dimensions so I can finalize the shape. These two circles are gonna be equal. And this circle is gonna have a radius of 15. I'm going to create an anchor line 70 millimeters in height and this is going to be my guide for this circle here i want to attach this circle to this line to do so select the coincident constraint select the outer edge and select this point here and i also want to make it tangent to this line i'm going to create another line out in space and make it 40 millimeters in length. Select the edge and a point, line it up with the circle here and also make it tangent. I'm gonna connect a line from this point to this point to close it off, because this is also gonna be a guide for the subsequent circles I create. And before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this center point is in line with this center point. I'm gonna measure the distance between this circle center point and this circle center point to be 60 millimeters. And I'll turn off dimensions momentarily so you can see. Turn it back on and I'll continue to profile. I'll create two more circles. I'll make them equal to each other. And I'll dimension these circles to have a radius of 10. I'll move these circles into place. And I'll add coincident constraints to both edges. Now that it's slowly coming together, I can continue to form. I wanna join these two circles here using a three-point arc. I wanna make this one solid. I'm gonna drag this in a little bit, take the coincident constraint and set it up and add some dimensions to this arc. And do the same here. Make sure it's inside. Once again, make this solid. I'm gonna join it with a line. I want this line edge point to connect to this circle. And I also want this line to be tangent. Before I make it tangent, I'm gonna go ahead and give this arc here a dimension, 30, and then I'll make it tangent. I'm gonna to continue to profile. Start off with a series of lines from these edges here. Make sure I get the box and a tangent here. I'll do the same here as well.
try that once again. All right. I can keep the line tool and actually make contours by using it. Left click, drag and hold until it actually conforms to the circle until you hit the box. And I can do the same here. And that's the benefit of creating those lines first. So I create a line here to here as well. And I can do the same thing. Now for this one, I won't be able to do it as easily. So I'll go ahead and use the three point arc. Select this point here and here. Bring it out a little bit. Grab the concentric constraint. Select the circle. And there you go. And I'll turn off dimensions, points, and constraints. And that completes this project. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick exercise. Stick around, and I shall see you in the next one.